the show, Jump City Jazz Band. Ta-da! Our uh, first guest tonight have been together for 12 years and on the radio for at least half of that time. <laughs> they'll, be doing, <laughs> they'll be doing their annual food drive starting Monday at Bangor Mall. Please welcome Mike and Mike. Yes. <laughs> something for you there Dan Thank um, you. it's a it's a little clock it's a little alarm clock so that you know it's, it's got monkeys on it we have a monkey thing this way you know with this clock you'll know when it's time to end the show <laughs> <laughs> we should have bought one years ago yeah. <laughs> well thank you guys for being here you are the sole purpose we have two chairs well that's wonderful to know it's a yeah, great yes. set isn't this a great set everybody yeah. it's a nice set um, there is nothing more beautiful and awe-inspiring than uh, in all of the Queen City than the uh, <laughs> underbelly, the rusted underbelly of the uh, <laughs> Joshua Chamberlain Bridge. You know, <laughs> it's the man pride. was a true patriot, uh, yeah, apparently with lots of rust. You know, if you look really close up here next to that pier, yeah. there's, uh, there's evidence of three hobo encampments. <laughs> <laughs> And they loved the show. Oh, yeah, they do. So uh, you folks have a big week this week. Of course, you do the morning show on KISS 94.5, and you've been... Are uh, we still doing that? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. They're still running it. I oh. assume you're there live. Okay. The uh, transmitter hasn't been on for seven years, but, you know, we show up every day. Every day. The ratings are still pretty good, somehow. Uh, no. I have no idea. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we, we don't subscribe. <laughs> it's really expensive. Yeah. I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. So, but you get your uh, food drive coming up. It starts Monday. Bangor Mall. How many years Are we you still doing that? <laughs> I think so. Okay, yes. Yeah. Monday morning, uh, this will be the 12th annual food drive for MANA. It's really important. Uh, it's, it's the most difficult thing that we do all year, but also the most rewarding. Well, how, for people that aren't familiar, how, what is it that you do to, that makes this unique? Well, we, we take a, a, a giant moving truck and we park it behind Bangor Mall and we actually live in it until it's full of uh, non-perishable food items. Right. And, th and then it goes to MANA Ministries and it's distributed throughout the state, so it, uh, it helps a lot of people. Uh, last year, I think 39 tons Wow, that's cool. impressive. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, well, I mean, that's... We have people that show up every year, families bringing their kids. We've watched families grow, you know, sure. from five years old the first year to they're driving their parents there now. It's incredible. <laughs> they come every year. It's quite the tradition. Now, uh, what, what sorts of things can people bring by, uh, you say, non-perishable? Yeah. What is that? Oh, I'm glad you asked because um, there's been some confusion about what to bring to this particular food drive because, you know, we say non-perishable, but people will sometimes just sort of, you know, not hear everything that you say or they hear what you, you know. Yeah, they'll, they'll bring turkeys anyway, and we get them down to manna as quickly as mm -hmm. we can, but, sure. but was, sometimes people just don't hear what we're saying. Okay. I was really. hoping that this question would come up, so I just jotted a few things down. Um, <laughs> for, example, for example, for um, example, uh, vegetables always needed, you know, like, uh, you know, we would take a whole pallet of peas. We would take just, you know, one can of peas, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so we, peas. Yeah, peas we, asked, we asked for a can of pea. We actually got a bottle of pea. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> see, people, see, now, th this is stuff that people have brought us over the years that we don't put on the truck. Um, so, you know, um, you know. That's we, real. We asked for. <laughs> He's not kidding. So, you know, we need to be, say it carefully, can of peas. Can of peas. Can of, yeah. um, peas. Supplies for families with, with children, young children, like diapers. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't ordinarily think of diapers when you, when you think about a food drive, but they're really in, in demand. One of the things we forgot to mention was we don't need gently used diapers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, they dodged it. You know, non-perishable stuff with a shelf life like canned meat, you know, such as a, a giant can of Underwood. Um, but what we got was a giant pair of underpants. <laughs> yeah. oh. I know. Underpants are just funny. I didn't realize that Governor-elect LePage had been to your food drive. <laughs> um, juice, always needed. Canned juice, bottle juice, baby juice. 
You yeah. know, we need to be very careful yeah. how we yeah. offer that. I don't really want to know what's in here. <laughs> um, you know, other things. Oh, there's <laughs> chunks, I know there that. Are chunks. Yeah. Relish, ketchup, mustard, all the condiments needed, you know, and just, just to give you an example. So we get uh, con oh, boy. condoms and mints. So, oh, that was I'll, disturbing. I'll take one of those. Yeah, I'll take one of these. You have the rest. Wow, well, that's. <laughs> Did you like one? Uh, sure. <laughs> I, took I, I don't know what to say. I, like I will one? take it. I'll take it. Thank you. So. Bye, look at the time. <laughs> Shouldn't this be going off any time soon? <laughs> um, no, but in, in all seriousness, though, it, it is an incredibly important thing, uh, the food drive. Mana told us that they were able to feed people with the food that came in from last year's food drive through the winter into April. And we're hoping to at least match the success of last year's food drive. We never take it for granted that people are going to going to come. So you're set up day and night, Bangor Mall, behind uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, right? Yes. Yeah, and it's particularly fun at like 1.30 in the morning when the bars let out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Mike, Mike, you up? Yeah. That might be where that came from. <laughs> That's where that <laughs> came from, yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming on the show. And of course, people can hear you every day on KISS 94.5 starting right. at uh, 6. Is that right? That's are we right. still doing that? Are we are. I think you are. Yeah. Mike and Mike, everyone. We'll be right back with comedian Ray Harrington. Right after this.